been in my family um, since I was very little. My father started business um, in, in, in 85 and I started here full time in 99 and I've been here since. Since I was young I've been over here working with him and just seeing what he does and um, he taught me an awful lot and uh, I went on to do different courses um, too fast then as well so and when I came back from FOSS, uh, a lot of it was just self, self-taught after that. I went into the uh, designing and the forging side of it. Um, up to then, I was just uh, doing the packing of the products and the painting of the products to more design, as I say, after my father passing and my brother passing. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I, I love what I do and um, we do something different every day and that's just um, fantastic here and um, yeah, I do think I'll be here until I retire and um, I'm hoping the staff I have at the moment will be with me for many years to come and um, hopefully in time we'll bring on more staff. from Bantry and I married Kevin mm. um, we were here 30 years this year so I had two uh, Kevin passed away at a young age he was only 44 so I started to take it over at that stage right. then we, we had two children um, Kieran died as well so Brian was left and Brian had always a great interest in the forge he used to come to see his dad at work when he was very young and loved it. Each piece is individually crafted by hand, so each piece is a little different. Right. You know, two lamps would be similar. Mm. Um, now, we work a lot with mostly Celtic designs, really, special commissions as well. We work with Gates indoor and outdoor furniture. One of our designs is the ballet design, which carries through into quite a number of pieces. Um, including coffee tables, lamp tables, lamps, and yeah. then we have a range of different colours. You have like the, the, the antique bronze, you have the verdi green, which is a green and black finish. Um, we do uh, like our log baskets, fire grates, fire arms, they'd be all handcrafted. Each okay. again would be an individual piece. Then all our shades are hand painted as well. Okay. This is the future. Some last year, then we decided to bring other people's crafts to the shop because mm -hmm. you know I thought uh, we'd have a certain amount of American burners, but they found it a bit heavy to be taken back. So we decided we'd bring in some of the lighter stuff so that they have something to go back with. Right. He went to. Um, Falls for a while, and I suppose he self taught really from watching his father yeah. how it was done. You know, he was always intrigued how a length of steel could be brought out into this lovely shape mm. of a can be it a candle holder, lamp, or table. He always had the flair for the, the metal work. Yeah. Kevin started in our garage in the house, and then we built here in 1985. Well, I wasn't sure what to do, kind of. Yeah. It was his dream, really. We just had this room finished, built, when the morning he died. Mm. So I just didn't know. We had, there was four people here at the time, applied with Kevin. So I said, you know, we said we'd give it a go. I wasn't sure about it, but I said I'd try. Good. And it's going since. It was in his anniversary on Tuesday, so it's um, 19 years now.